Hello everyone and welcome to this preview of round three uh, of the Banter Blitzcock featuring Ali Reza Firouja and Laurent Fressinet, our very own Laurent Fressinet. This is a highly anticipated matchup uh, because both players live in France and we had Magnus Carlsen tweeting about it. In fact, the Twitter sphere is kind of on fire about this match. Uh, let me actually show you uh, what's been going on on Twitter real quick. Um, so first of all, we have here uh, Magnus Carlsen himself saying the French Blitz Championship Final is coming up. Uh, this is because, of course, Ali Reza, as you all probably know, now resides in France, I'm told close to Paris. Uh, so he's not actually going to be very far from Laurent, who is normally in Paris himself. And there's not only Magnus, but then we have a number of other chess players. So here I am moving to um, a tweet from Peter Heine Nielsen, who says, If Fressinet wins this match, I hereby promise never to eat baguette again. Of course, that is an extremely difficult sacrifice to make. Then we have Jan Gustafsson, our own Jan, is, uh, of course, not one to miss a chance. And he says, if Fressinet wins this match, I promise to never eat other bread than pain blanc again. So again, uh, taking a couple of shots at, at France. And then Anish Giri, um, the highest rated pundit after Magnus Carlsen here, says, if Fressinet wins this match, I promise never to eat again. So as you can see, people are, are really sort of discounting the chances that our uh, friend Laurent has of winning this match. And if you look at, the, at their path to making it to this third round, one can kind of understand. Ali Reza just played a few days ago. Uh, many of you probably watched this match against Oleksienko. And it was a good match, but it was very clear that Ali Reza was the better blitz player, if not the better player uh, altogether. And I think things really started to go wrong um, for, um, for Oleksienko. I will show you here what happened. Um, so, this is the beginning of just the second game. Uh, Ali Reza had won the first game, and look at what happens here. Let's go knight h3. He goes knight h3, and in fact, he played knight h3 not in one game, but in many games. And um, we uh, are not going to go through the whole game, because of course that would take way too long. But I think Alexienko could never recover after losing to such an odd yeah, opening move. So I'll stop this right now, go back my other scene here. Meanwhile, Laurent Fressinet in the second round had a very, very tough match against a very strong Azerbaijani player named uh, Gadir Guzainov, uh, someone that I've also played a lot of blitz games with online. He's a tough, he's a tough blitz player, so uh, arguably, you know, Laurent had the tougher pairing, but I will show you here um, the very end of Laurent's match um, uh, against uh, Gadir Guzainov. de Maxime. Oh, actually, wait. This is a. Allez, fantastic, fantastic tag. Donc le... I showed you the wrong video. This is actually a video, and I'll, I'll play this one right now. But this is a video of Laurent playing against Fantastic Star on Chess 24 during one of their soirée mousse, which is a, sort of a banter blitz that they do in French. And Laurent usually banters in French. I'll, I'll skip through some of this, but Laurent actually kind of gave Ali Reza an endgame lesson. And in fact, he's seen, you know, laughing throughout the video. Uh, 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 he's, uh, he's, you can see his face. I'm going to skim through a little bit. Uh, so he's, he's very happy here. He's making fun of how he's got a better end game and young players are, are being taught, you know, from uh, valuable lessons that he's learned through uh, his 20 years of experience. So uh, I will leave that video as that, but, uh, and I will go back to the video uh, instead of Laurent against Gadir Guzainov. We have here a position where they only had seconds left on our clocks. Guzainov was close to winning for, 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 for the last few moves. Uh, but Laurent manages to hold and make it 9-7, and I think he was winning 8-5, lost two games, so this was very tense. Faire. Let's go through uh, the end here. Oh la vache, je suis obligé de faire ça là, je crois. His commentary is in French, but you're not missing too much because there's not a lot of words with flag. so little time. Oh, here he's saying that he should try to flag him. Of course, he's happy with the draw because he gets to 8.5 and, and wins. Il faut que je flag. Saying, I have to flag him. He voilà. dances with his king. And I'm actually surprised that he won this one because Guzainov is actually really, really fast with the mouse. But in this game, uh, Laurent was just too fast. G5. Now, he, he, at some point, he's going to oh say, oh, mal, this has got to be mate. But it's actually not. Somehow the king... Ça soit pas mal. 
keeps dancing and it's not quite over. Et là je prends. Il faut que je prenne tous les pions. Non, This non. Was really, really close. But actually now he manages to checkmate him and that's... Oh oui. So. Oh oui. All right. You can see oh, Laurent was very relieved to see this game end. And um, so that was the end of, of his game against Kuzainov that took him to round three. Um, and I also want to show you a couple of clips of Laurent just because, you know, of course we're, we're teasing him as he's one of our Chess 24 staff uh, before this game, but he's had a few, a few funny moments with Magnus, which I will show you. Some of them are on Chess 24. Uh, one of them was in person during one of their training sessions. And this is kind of relevant, uh, especially because uh, We'll look in a second, but we'll, we'll revisit the Magnus against Ali Reza. Um, uh, the, the, I guess, what happened at the World uh, Blitz and Rapid Championship. So let me first of all go here, show you when Magnus called Laurent famously, two weeks too slow. Two weeks too slow. <laughs> and then this game goes on for a while. But of course, as you can guess, uh, Laurent was too weak, too slow in this game, as Magnus predicted, and he ended up getting uh, checkmated. I can actually maybe show you the, the checkmate here. Yeah. What do you want to play? What do you want to play? <laughs> because what do you want to play? Because Laurent has not realized that he's getting checkmated. So this was a funny one. But then Laurent actually managed to take his revenge, and I have the end of this game that was played on Chess 24, again with Laurent uh, uh, doing the banter blitz in uh, French. This was actually a very cute little mate at the end to finish this game. And to be fair, Magnus had refused to repeat the position a few times and now uh, got checkmated by Laurent, his friend and teammate. Uh, as I said before, you know, the two of them worked together. They worked together, they worked together in the previous World Championship. And so here we go. Laurent checkmates him. Magnus graciously lets him, which is very nice. And so here we go. Uh, and then let's just go through uh, what happened at the um, World and Rapids Blitz Championship here, uh, where Ali Reza had an unlosable position against Magnus Carlsen. But the rules do state that if you if you flag and there is a and there is a uh, theoretical possible mate, then it can actually be well, it is a loss for the side that flagged. And so we can we have it here. Uh, this was actually part of our article. As you can see, his piece, um, he just kind of drops the piece and then kind of slowly picks it up and flag, which is, you know, it's hard to flag when you have two second increment, but it can happen if you drop a piece like that. So, um, so in any case, um, this is going to be a very interesting match. As We have a lot of pundits who are not giving Laurent much of a chance, but we're certainly going to be rooting for him. I always root for people who are approximately my age. I am 36 years old. Laurent, I think, I was born in 83, I think he's 82, um, so he is from the same generation. We actually played Blitz games all the way back in Armenia in 1997. I'm sure this is a fact that a lot of you cared about, and you're welcome, I just told you. Uh, that was actually my first event internationally when I represented Canada. I think I was 14 then, playing in the under-16 World Championship, so here we go. Another fact that very few people knew about before, before now. And so I'm going to give a little prediction. It's hard to go against Ali Reza. I'm going to say Ali Reza wins 9-4. to four. And that's actually probably, I think that's a reasonable guess. But I am rooting for Laurent, and I hope he does very well. And um, I hope you enjoyed the match on Thursday, and I hope you enjoyed this preview. Thank you very much, and have a nice day, everyone.